love this song like absolutely great evening everybody happy blessed motivated mind monday i pray that you are having a wonderful and fantastic day i'm gonna try to turn my microphone volume down here it sounds really loud to me i turned it down a little bit okay you guys too loud or too um too low too loud or too low that's the opposite right if it's too loud or too low please let me know um great evening happy happy new year once again this is the first chat with cat and friend show since the new year began and i pray that you guys are all enjoying yourself right i know we've had some rough weather we've had some crazy news we've had some horrific events i would say horrific like some really tragic things have happened in the world maybe in your life i'm praying for you we are praying for you let us continue to lift one another in prayer right sow those seeds of encouragement of great faith of grace of acknowledgement right and recognition i love you guys and there's nothing you can do about it i love you and there's nothing that you can do about it my church service yesterday was off the chain it was off the chain it was virtual we were not in the building um and it was it was still great it was still great abundant harvest ministries you guys right here in baltimore if you're here stop by look if you um get to drop by any of our uh facebook pages yeah touch touch the link if it's listed or ask for it, what whatever the case may be but 1720 belmont avenue abundant harvest ministries our great pastor pastor stephen laws and his wonderful awesome and talented wife lady robin lawrence it was an awesome time on yesterday and every sunday every sunday it is that extra pouring in on sunday oh my gosh i need that uh every sunday every sunday that's what that's what it's for that's what it's for to help to pour in to replenish and all of those things so i pray that you get your replenishment and maybe on saturday that you get your replenishment however that comes to you however that works in your community in your life get it do it and do not look do not neglect your spiritual wellness above all else do not neglect your spiritual wellness it is so so very important i love important did i say important important <laughs> it's very important how are y'all doing on tonight if you're there send up some hearts let me know share this live share this interview we have an awesome wonderful woman of god with us on tonight a woman of faith of great strength and encouragement and advocate you see my schedule has changed somewhat the show schedule has changed somewhat but we're going to press on god is still good and he's still blessing look give him give him look what he told me is you start i finish is that the deal? I, 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 you got to talk to him for you, but that's the deal. I start, take them steps, and he's going to finish. He's going to do exactly what he said he would do. Don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Walk in it high and proud. Yeah, with all of that, with all that, you know, keep be humble. You know, keep your humility and all of those great things keep grace before you and about you and walk in that integrity walk in your victory walk in your victory i love kiara kiki sheared she's married and has a new last name now and i'm not used to it yet so i i gotta i'm gonna leave it right there that there's more um kelly kelly right i was that's it kiara yeah that's it that's it so i love all of her music i love all of them that is my favorite song and it's a little it's, it's still thriving and going i'm bumping it um here in 2022 as well because it's still relevant it's still relevant to me i pray that you um grab hold of that encouragement and empowerment music those tunes even those sounds sometimes melodies have a way of working on our emotions they can either hype you hype you make you happy make you on cloud nine or they can bring you down make you low make you sad and regretful and all of these other things so be careful of that you know what so without further, without further ado my guest our guest is here on this evening so i'm going to bring her on 
Um, and I'll look, I'll chat back with you guys later on after the interview. And then I'll see you later on this week. Subscribe to the channel, Emerge to Wellness. It has changed. Emerge to Wellness. Subscribe to the channel. Same great content and information. Subscribe to the channel. Videos will be uploaded daily. Um, and I thank you in advance for sharing the channel for like button for touching the notification bell too so that you can be informed every time great information informative information wellness information motivated is added to this channel because that's what it's all about we're we're sewing into one another for that emerge to wellness because some of us need to jump into it we just need to just go just go forward in the wellness of who we are how god has created us to be so look we're going to bring on angel and i thank her on tonight Hi, hey, lady. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? Doing great. Awesome, awesome. I'm so glad to have you with us on tonight. Um, look, tell us who you are. While we, go, I'm gonna just go into it just a little bit because you were with me um, for the month of November. Mm -hmm. The thankful. Did the thankful segment for thrivers and survivors, pushers, and all of that great stuff. Because we need, we hey, you guys, we need some pushers. We've been through a whole <laughs> lot of stuff. I um, mean, you're here today to um, elaborate and catch us up on um, how you're doing, how your organization is developing, because it is in development right now. So let us know about it, Angel. Let us know about your awesome organization. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Cat. So um once again my name is angel Harmon, and um i'm focusing on bringing awareness to pregnancy loss um this past june i, I lost my um my second baby um uh, she was a stillborn her name is um Zipporah jane Harmon, um and it's this organization is going to be for our dads as well as moms um, we want to create a community of support for them, um, access to resources of getting through this journey and learning how to uh, be a parent um, with their child, not pregnantly with them. Right. It's, it's um, such a wonderful um, organization and concept. Um, the concept, um, I don't know how readily available services of the magnitude that that you're seeking to provide to those who have lost pregnancy, um, whether it's um, stillborn, whether you've given birth, and then you know you have a passing of your child, um, it is one of those very, very hugely sensitive, but it is monumentally felt, you know, and it's felt by more than you know, more than whatever numbers you know, whatever numbers I know, or you guys out there know like triple that number, like multiply it by 10. And that's how, you know, that's how it's so prevalent. It's such a prevalent thing. So the this, this services that you're providing are so necessary and so needed in our varying communities, no matter who you are, no matter, Absolutely. there's no differentiation. So, um, wow. Um, and you let us know that you had, this was your second, your second miscarriage. Um, this was my second pregnancy loss. My first pregnancy loss was a miscarriage. Um, mm -hmm. I carried that baby to um, nine weeks. And um, my, my daughter, Zipporah, she, I carried her um, about 36 weeks and four days. Um, and my organization really wants to bring awareness to gestational yeah. diabetes. That was the, um, the cause of her death. Um, it was undetected during the pregnancy, and I cannot stress more, advocate more for, um, you know, moms or potential moms, women that are just looking to um, conceive to um, make a great relationship with your primary care doctor, get, um, make sure you're getting those regular physicals so you can know if you have any um um, blood sugar issues, if you have any um, blood pressure issues, um, and just being like very vigilant throughout your pregnancy, because um, I had no history of um, mm -hmm. any problems with um, um, blood sugar issues, so it was just a thing of being conscious of it, and I think for me, 
um, not had any history of it is maybe women would like to invest in a, a blood sugar monitor, um, uh -huh. you know, when throughout yeah. their pregnancy so they can independently, um, you know, be in charge of their health, be um, right. educated. Be proactive, take um, some proactive steps. And that's what, um, that's what, oh man, that's what it's been some time for me. Um, and um, I haven't had the experience somewhat, just as you have described, just as you have mm -hmm. described, and everybody's experience is different. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I just salute you. I salute your strength. I um, praise God for just being able to use this, being able to use, and then your want and will to be able to use your very sensitive, very, very personal experience in um, the loss of your baby and uh, mm -hmm. loss of pregnancy. Um, and you're ready and able to tell your story so that um, there's intention, so that it will help one. You're readily available. And of course, that didn't happen all of, you know, the next day or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, that took some time, right. That took some healing time. And we'll, we'll talk about that. But just mm -hmm. to... Um, just to shout out your strength, your courage. I thank you also very much um, for everything that you're doing, for everything that you're doing and that you see, that you've envisioned for your organization um, and all that's inside of you that I know is going to be so monumentally helpful, useful, praiseworthy, award-winning. I mean, you know, talking about these things is not an easy thing we won't get a whole mm -hmm. bunch of we won't get a whole you know we, there, there may not be any of that but the discussions have to be had and mm -hmm. it's worth acknowledgement you have to people especially those who have lost have had lost pregnancies mm -hmm. who have had miscarriages who have had um um different situations that have come about where they've lost mm -hmm. a child they, that has to be recognized and acknowledged as something of value um, and not just to you personally, but to society. It's a great value um, to our society. Your stories are, your experiences are. So thank you so, so very much for giving someone to hope. Um, even if you haven't experienced that, you're giving, you know, you're giving so many people hope and encouragement this evening by your strength, by the magnitude of your faith in God and what he's shown you and done for you, even going through such a tragedy, you know, you still, you still have faith. You still walk tall. You still, you're still married. You and your husband are still working together, you know, yeah. and all of these things. Cause sometimes those, those dynamics can and do change, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of stress. So, um, mm -hmm. As you continue to just unfold for us the the different dynamics, and I love that you said that um, your organization is for dads as well, because there is great loss with dads as well. Um, can you tell me any experience that you've had, um, uh, whether it's something that you experienced personally in dealing with someone, perhaps your own husband, or maybe something that you kind of oversaw, and it's like, oh, you know what? I need to make sure, you know, this is an area that specifically needs to be addressed, um, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to men, pregnancy and loss, um, mm -hmm. loss of a child. Um, can you just elaborate on any experience that you had with that and discussion or with yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, one thing I would say, um, like I, within our personal story of me and my husband is women and men, they grieve differently. Um, that's, that's just a fact. Um, our, our first loss, um, my husband, he, he soldiered on. He didn't really allow the grief to feel those feelings. So once we had a second loss, um, my daughter Zephora, then it all came flooding in, you know, it was like compounded grief and it just shows um, you know, grief is a process, but those feelings, they can't be stuffed down. And sometimes men, not all men, but sometimes men can push those, suppress those 
um, emotions um, because they feel like they have to be strong for their wife. Society has this expectation. Men don't cry. They, you know, they have to have this, this masculine image that is uh, absent of emotion, which is not healthy. Right. Right. So, and, and with that, um, you can suffice it to say that, yes, mm -hmm. this needs to be addressed because I'm sure that in speaking with your husband, you know, you probably saw or got to hear from him some some similarities and how how he was feeling um congruently with how you were feeling um and then you're able to relate so it's like you know how that there's that saying that if it doesn't if it doesn't if it doesn't break you it makes you stronger <laughs> yeah. if it doesn't break you it makes you stronger you know in some respect in some regard um, our, the fragility and sensitivity of our relationships with our spouse, with our mate, or with whomever we're making a domicile with, um, if those, those challenges that come, they can make you stronger and put you together closer, or they have that great ability to, to tear things apart, like, you know, where you don't want to talk, you, you're really closed off, and then those things may exist even when you are coming together. There's like a process. There's this process. Mm -hmm. I mean, there has to be respect. There has to be respect. Mm -hmm. There has to be room and there has to be compromise. So um, how did you both help each other? How did you help each other? And th mm -hmm. look, look, you guys, if, if I can just interject really quickly, mm -hmm. I sent Angel some questions. This was not, these are not any of the questions. <laughs> These are not any of the questions that I sent, but, good question. <laughs> but in, in light of just speaking with you and um, mm -hmm. with the understanding that in many cases, sometimes we only mm -hmm. see things as women, women mm -hmm. based or focused, um, I don't pockets of information, you know, it's, it's kind of reserved for women. Only women feel this, right. only, you know, so and the, when we had those opportunities to talk about things that men also, you know, have a great big stake. Go ahead. Go ahead. Have a great big right. stake in it. We have to talk about it. So I think once society breaks away from this idea that um, we can acknowledge a dad as being, like, if you think about the negative reverse, like if somebody... Um, you know, they might want to blame a dad. Like, this is all your fault while this person is pregnant. But we sort of lose that idea that it takes two to tango when creating a baby once the baby's lost. I don't know where that, trans. I don't know yeah. how we lose that in translation as a society. So even though they might not, men, dads, may not have a physical, um, you know, um, like that connection, I, you know, grief connected because it wasn't connected. That grief is not connected with your body because the baby was not inside them. But they fathers they carry a pride, you know. They're saying like, "Wow, I got my wife pregnant." It's like a um, dare I say like a self esteem thing that a, a man can um, make, you know, a woman pregnant. Mm -hmm. Things like that because um, not everyone is is fortunate able to, right. is able mm -hmm. to do that um and also too another thing i want to advocate society should stop asking people when they're going to have babies mm -hmm. yeah because you don't know if that couple has already tried and they know they will have they have problems or they haven't discovered yet they have problems or then maybe they've already had a loss that's such a sensitive and yeah. um you know i feel like you know, people say, don't talk about politics and religion. Like, put up there, like, your children, too. Yeah. It's like, don't talk about that either. We're going to add that you know, to like, that. Let, yeah. let people initiate whether they have children, you know, whether what they feel comfortable, you know, and do you have children? That, that's like, right. I, that's like, I d despise that question. Yeah. But, um, it's an innocent one at that, you know, so, like, uh -huh. do you have children and also you know, when are you guys going to have? Why you? not? <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, right. It's, a lot of it's a lot of pressure, if nothing else. Yeah, it happens on TV a lot. And when you when you 
you bringing that up, it made me think of a show that I was I was watching, and mm -hmm. there was like extreme pressure being pr placed on these um, these young men to mm -hmm. to to settle down because they you know they were wild and fancy free. Let's like say that, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but there was pressure, and it was um, I want to say it was an African society so I can't mm -hmm. give much on it because I don't know but there's that there's that tradition there's a tradition mm -hmm. of you're going to do this you're going to do that you know and people look for it. your your grandparents look to be grandparents so they want to yeah. know you know and it, it becomes that it becomes insensitive when just like you said when you ask, and maybe there is a history. Just because you don't know and you haven't seen the evidence, you know, right. there could be there. There's could be some underlying um, history there that hurts. It hurts to talk about. It hurts to think about. It hurts to have have to answer. You know, because there's an answer. We're we're looking. If somebody's asking, they're expecting an answer. Right. They're expecting an answer. So um, your or, the organization is called Zipporah's mm -hmm. Basket, named after your most recent baby. Mm -hmm. um, and oh my gosh, uh, can you tell us where you got the name Zipporah from? Oh yeah. So we had picked this out even before we lost her. We, we actually were leaving um, the gender of the baby a surprise because this was supposed to be our rainbow baby. We wanted it to be special. So we had picked out this name. Um, the poor means beauty. Um, and I see it as, you know, it can be the beauty of God, you know, in her. And, you know, also superficially. That's, I yeah. felt like she was very beautiful. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. The most Every beautiful. Is biased. <laughs> right. She's the most beautiful. What are you talking about? And um, my husband, he came up with the middle name, Jane. Um uh, and then at first I didn't really like that name because I thought it was like plain Jane, you know. <laughs> right. um, but I was I looked up the meaning of Jane and it means God is gracious. So her name is about <laughs> the beauty and the grace or the favor of God. Look, yeah. shout out to putting some thought and some um, action behind our children what are you calling them what are you naming them wow mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm not having any more i'm not having any. my <laughs> last one is is hope <laughs> my yeah. last one is hope <laughs> and the one before that marquis that was my diamond he's my diamond he both so man mm -hmm. um shout out to you guys for for the thought that you put into it you know mm -hmm. that you even took took the time to think about it and many people do yeah, he does many people do, but big shout out to that. Um, to mm -hmm. to having and such a purpose in what you name your child. So if you're watching, if you're watching, or you're listening, or you're flipping through, or what have you, take some time. Take some time to look up the meanings. Because when you said Jane, I'd have been like. <laughs> Exactly. No, sir. There's no Jane. There's no Jane over here. There's no Jane over here. So you, you've enlightened me on that much as well. Um, that Jane does have a meaning and that it's meaningful. So tell us what that what Jane means once again. Just look just for me and for nobody yeah. else for me. <laughs> so Jane means God is gracious and grace means, you know, unmerited favor. So it's talking about God favor yes <laughs> giving you favor i'm telling you we need that our children need that so yeah. continue i'm sorry I, I got stuck on the names because you're good and that's you just know, wonderful that's just yeah. wonderful to me so um the organization that did her uh funeral arrangements they're called gone too soon um i believe it's the uh evans funeral home but i know the actual nonprofit's called gone, gone too soon um, they're a great resource for um, survivor parents. Um, they offered um, uh, free um, cremation services, and I believe they offer um, free burial as well. Um, <clears throat> so they're a great resource, as well as I've, I've connected with um, some of the ladies. And the one thing I, I love about the organization is everyone that's a part of the Gone Too Soon, are, they have also experienced a loss of a child. 
Mm -hmm. um so and they care for the babies they actually like um women make handmade um blankets for the babies and they wrap them in there and they rock the babies and they pray over them before it's time to prepare them um so they have they have lots just such a beautiful um heart and intention and and um towards all the children um wow it just gave me a lot of comfort knowing that Mm -hmm. she was going to be treated with you know love care and respect and um yeah it was wonderful that that's beautiful that's beautiful um i'll make sure you guys all of the um information well the links to all of the information that is being shared or most of it that's being shared will be in the description section of this of this interview um i thank you guys so much for for watching for staying for sharing please subscribe to the channel emerge to wellness right now we are speaking with angel Harmon, uh pregnancy loss awareness advocate um it it is a subject and i um i'll apologize in advance to anyone who i may be offending i'm I'm just a cheerful and 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 chipper person um this definitely is not that subject somebody Mm -hmm. may be looking like well why are they you know but there is we have to go on we have to go on and life is going to go on god is going to use every bit of what you know what every measure of what we feeling to the magnitude of that we felt it um and i'm i'm just thankful for that i'm thankful for him using you in the way that that you are this is definitely a sensitive topic um i am by um in no means a way shape or form belittling it or anything like that just that's just you know i, I always have to I feel like there's a disclaimer I must throw out there. So let me do that now. Um, Much respect, much uh, many prayers over everyone. There's a magnitude of people who have experienced such a loss and it's devastating. It is very devastating Um, in any way, shape or form that you come about your pregnancy it's very difficult to have a loss it's very difficult to have a loss so recognizing that acknowledging that um that is what we're doing right here right now and i thank you so much angel for sharing your experience with us for um just sharing your heart um you guys catch her she's not leaving right now but catch um her interview that i had with her in november um was very was very good also she we're expanding on today just to give the because the information has to be given out we want it to be known and if you um are in need of such services please reach out to her contact information will be placed in the description section as well and i'm going to pause i thank you so so very much continue angel thank you Thank you. Oh, you okay. look like you had something else you would say. I'm sorry, because I can oh, get, I can get, I, I can, I, wanna, I can I get share an email. People mm-hmm. could email to get in touch with me. Okay, um, yeah, share your contact information, please. Yes. Um. So they can um email basket of Zipporah, mm-hmm. um three seven at gmail dot com, and the O and of is capital. So basket okay. of Zipporah three seven at gmail.com and um you know link in we're going to have a a soft launch on march the 26th so reach out and so we can connect and Mm -hmm. help each other through our journeys awesome um excuse me for one moment i'm trying to bring up at least at least one of the questions i said i was going to ask you (laughs) She's like, well, wait a minute. But see, when when you're um, when you're genuine, when you're genuine and you're doing something that's from your heart, it you know the, the question. It's like it doesn't even matter. But I do want to know a little bit. I do want to know a little bit about you know what what areas are we going to talk about? And we definitely do try to stay um, in the realm of that. So you share with us the um, the benefits. So what is what do you think is the greatest benefit of having an organization such as Zipporah's mm-hmm. Basket? What do you think is one of what, what will people actually gain from being a part of the organization? 
I would say uh, probably three main things. Um, medical aid and a support community, as well as education about, um, you know, walking through grief. Um, even I would like to um, open it up to family members um, that are or close friends of the parents and they look into like, how do I talk to, how do I comfort um, things I should and should not say if they want to just have a resource to come to someone and talk, say, okay, like, how should I, this is what I'm feeling. How can I communicate this in the least amount of offensive way? <laughs> right, um, right. You know, feel free to That's email awesome. and, reach, and reach out to it. Basket of Zipporah 37 at gmail.com and we can talk about it. Um, so hope, hoping, hoping to get those three types of resources to family and friends, uh, more specifically to um, dad and moms. I'm hoping that um, we can do after our launch, we can start our monthly um, dad uh, support group over Zoom, and we'll do a monthly mom support group, and then we're going to do a couples a monthly support group on Zoom. So these are things that will start after our soft launch, um, March 26th. Awesome. So soft launch, March 26th. You guys, if you're taking notes or if you're not, maybe you want to jot that down. Um, it may be useful to you or someone that you know um, who may be interested and maybe needing um, an outlet um, just to even sit and listen. Um, mm -hmm. I encourage, right, I encourage um, all of us like when we hear great information to share it yes indeed and to to go ahead you know even if even if you have to push yourself go ahead mm -hmm. because especially when it's sensitive issues and subjects such as this um everything in us will tell us no everything in us will tell us oh, it's too uncomfortable i don't want to be there I don't, I don't know you might even say there's not going to be any food i don't know you know these things <laughs> <laughs> these things you know that might be the last thing on your mind i was just throwing that out there but mm -hmm. we had these different thoughts going through our minds and mm -hmm. everything you know kind of keeps us from going but i'm telling you there's something wonderful about being present even if you don't engage or anything that might not be your intent even if you just there and you just intend to just sit back i'm gonna just sit back and i'm gonna watch go yeah. sit back and watch and listen and watch what happens because there's intention in just being there there's intention and purpose in that yeah. that's a word for somebody because that could be yeah. anything and everything and i encourage anybody that um is open to being volunteer please we're looking for volunteers so mm -hmm. please um awesome you know, reach me at basket of zipporah um 37 at, at gmail.com and we can get you signed up as a volunteer we're looking for volunteers awesome so if you have that heart you know that heart you want to console and comfort and encourage then by all means and you had the time to do so on a volunteer basis then please reach out to basket of zipporah 37 at gmail.com this information will be in the description section of this interview um and let's see um, and the different, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. And the different, the phases, the, the three uh, key notes or key things that you can take away that will be in there as well. By all means, write down um, the Pora. Can you spell the Pora for us? Because that was a problem of my own when we first met and she, I was like, spell it again. Yeah. P-P-O-R-A-H. Awesome. So I had it spelled correctly. Yes. yes. I had it spelled yeah. correctly. It, awesome. Uh, it was, um, mm -hmm. it's uh, Moses's wife name. Right. Right. <laughs> um, look, big, look, big time shout out for the names and big time shout out to you, Angel. <laughs> So you, Angel, for being here with me, for speaking um, on behalf of, you know, 
you're speaking on behalf of so many and you're doing something that is so wonderful and needed um mm -hmm. whether you're in a big community or a small community whether um i don't know whether you you yourself have mm -hmm. lost a pregnancy or you know someone who has please 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 give this information out um and you know what we're going to just go ahead and say if you're interested in starting an organization like this in your area because we are in baltimore maryland this is a baltimore based organization but by all means especially with virtual and all that there's it's mm -hmm. worldwide effort but if you'd like to start an organization or an effort like this please reach out to angel um she can give you um, as much information as she can, I know she's your forthcoming with what it is yes. that you know and what it is that you've experienced um, and would love to help you like start off the next chapter of Zipporah's Basket. I don't know. Mm -hmm. in, in, in Detroit, in Connecticut, look, we're yeah, just going to think that it's going to like take off and, and go um, and take speed in its own way because I'm sure there are like bereavement services for many different things everywhere. And some of them may have a section that is for, you know, women or families who have lost infants or children, but to have an organization that is only designated for that, I don't know of any. I'm sure there, there's probably one or two. I don't know everything. I, I sometimes think that I do, but. <laughs> could, I, um, could I hear some um some things I feel like that's helped me through this journey please please do please do um, so I feel like some some resources I wanted to share about it's um it's a company they're nonprofit as well it's called mommies of an angel uh -huh. and it's ran by a couple as well and they're such such sweet people and what they do is they make um a teddy bear that is the same weight as your child wow. um, and I'm not sure I don't think all moms experience this because I've talked to several not all experience but when I came home from the hospital I had a, a, a aching feeling in my arm um, and you just want something to be there it's like your body knows essentially something should be in your arm wow. and you feel like a, a physical pain um, <laughs> And so I, I was very grateful um, that, you know, this mom of this organization, um, she felt the same way. And um, she started this company. And um, it's something to hold and it's, something, it's a sweet way to, to, to pay homage and honor your baby. Um, so wow. I call um, Mommies of an Angel. Definitely check them out. Wow. That is beautiful. I would never have thought of that. I would never have thought of that. I'm just, I'm just so thankful. This is, that is like using your gift. That is using your gift and stepping out on all kinds of crazy faith, you know, because who knows, you know, how many people are going to be interested? Who would, who would, who would want to, I don't, who would want to be involved with this? You know, you, yeah. there's so many things that we go through. Um, women as men as women and as men and we feel like we're the only one you know we feel so alone and lonely in our own despair or grief and what have you and it is a very indiv individualized sensitive and personal process yes it is okay. but right but to know that such greatness can come out of it you know I, I didn't even, I wouldn't have even thought of anything like that. Um, and you had a physical ache in your arm. I'm like yeah. almost astonished. A physical yeah. ache in your arm where something was missing, where where you needed something there. Man, yeah. wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. So it's called Mommies of an Angel. Mm hmm Okay. Um, and, you know, I definitely like... Um, I would say talking to other survivor parents, um, this is a good thing, you know, to connect with them because one of, you know, many people and try to console you, um, they don't understand, but talking to someone that has experienced, you know, like you said, it's very personal, not everyone's opinion about things that they're going through always matches, but it, it's a strong level of camaraderie when you meet other survivor parents um, that 
can relate and give you solace to say you can make it till tomorrow. You feel like you can't today, but you know, you can wake up yeah. and honor them tomorrow and it can be bright because you, you know, have the, the great fortune of keeping that memory alive, you know. Right. You 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 have that um responsibility, you know, to keep their memory alive. And also therapy, therapy. And I'm speaking more specifically to African American black women therapy. Um, I feel like it is getting more like acceptable to therapy and I thank God for that. Um uh go to therapy, you know. Um go to therapy. Therapy um, works. Therapy, therapy works. works. <laughs> Um, therapy work you guys and um you know it's it's a place where you're sitting with someone that is you know paid to be objective you know Mm -hmm. um they are outside of the situation they can give you clarity they can give you um encouragement when you are you know at your wit's end um so many emotions you feel through grief um and can help you walk out of that you know, guilt, you know, of the loss, you know, um, and, um, you know, for those that'll catch the previous interview, you'll kind of hear more of the details of my story, but long story short, um, my daughter saved my life, um, and I'm grateful for her, and, um, wish she was here every day, that's for sure, um, but I, I see, I have grateful, I'm gratefulness, um, and knowing, you know, she lived a great purpose in a, such a short time, you know, yeah. I think that's amazing. Yeah, it is. It is. It is downright amazing. It's like bigger than a lot of things that we who are living, you know, have done. She, she made a definite, a definite imprint and fingerprints and yeah. thumbprint, all of that. She made a definite mark on um on this earth and you guys thank you so much for joining us angel if you didn't have any um last things that you wanted to share last information i'm sorry that you wanted to share um we're going to let you get out of here and get back to your evening i thank you so much for for joining us on tonight for letting us know um a little bit more about the poorest basket and like the intention behind the whole behind the organization how you seek and have intentions to help to offer clarity to to offer just connection connection mm-hmm. connection of resources medical care um what else support and um all those type of things community so god be praised for the wonderful and great things that um he's allowed you to do in my post i posted that he doesn't he doesn't waste anything nothing that we go through is for nothing it's it's not for nothing um and it, it sure feels like it at the time and it will feel you know turbulent hard rough mm-hmm. tough you know and all of those things that bring you low but mm-hmm. god and his miraculous power the strength and the, that the holy spirit gives us um allows us to live again to see again to breathe again to smile again to to use everything that we went through to come out you know with great greatness in our hearts and in our minds so i am so thank you thank you <laughs> thank you solid professor i am so um just honored to 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 have come to know you at women at when queens me Thank yes. you, CT, <laughs> and Win Queens Me. This is a fellow queen we met in yes. uh, Win Queens Me. We talked more about that in the other interview. So you guys yes. catch that last interview. Did you have anything else that you wanted to share with us before you leave, Angels? Um, I would um just give them a book suggestion. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is good for people that haven't even experienced the loss because it walks you through. Um, as this is good for parents. A survivor parents as well as family members that have a dedicated chapter to family and friends. Um, it's called Holding On to Love After You've Lost a Baby by Gary Chapman and Candy McVicker. And you can, you know, if people want re- remembrance of all these things, make sure you email me at basketofzipporah37 at gmail.com. That's all from me. 
Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Look, I'm taking notes. I keep looking down, you guys. I, look, I'm taking notes myself. I'm taking notes myself. Um, mm -hmm. and I'll get back with you on some of the finer details that I don't have, that Ooh. I don't have, or didn't get a chance to jot down. Mm -hmm. Um, but send me that if you could text me the name of that book and the author, yep. that would be great. You guys, that information will be in the description section. Do great evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Do reach mm -hmm. out to Angel, um, especially if you you are facing a similar situation. You had a, a lost pregnancy or a, it could be past. It doesn't even have to be present um, or current. I'll say current, not present, yeah. but it could have been, you know, something that you've gone through you and your, your family or you and your spouse or your loved one have experienced in the past. It does not mm -hmm make a difference, reach out to her at least um, and talk, uh, show up for that March 26th soft launch, soft launch, soft lunch, soft lunch, soft launch. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting tongue tied, tongue tied. So that soft launch, <laughs> it will be in the description section. Um, and so will her email as well. I pray that you guys were inspired and empowered, that you are invigorated and you can, you feel like you can go pick up some of those broken pieces and you can go on with life, shining and smiling all the while. Thank you so much, Angel, for mm -hmm. all of your time, for your energy, for your great heart of service and advocacy toward those who have um, experienced a lost pregnancy at any time in their lives. Thank you so, so very much. No I don't see, I don't see any questions. So thank you so much. And we'll see you later. We'll see you, okay, see you later. Have a great night. Okay. All right. See you. What an awesome interview. What an awesome interview. I thank um, Angel from the, from the bottom of my heart for coming on. Like who has, it, it takes, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of courage, a lot of strength. And I'm so thankful for, um, for all that she has, all that inspiration that she has and all the encouragement that she has having, um, have faced, um, a loss of pregnancy and a miscarriage. And, and I know several people who have, you know, lived through some similar things and man, you know, to have the courage to start a whole organization concerning that topic, um, can be, very large, like larger than life and very, um, for lack of better, better words, very off-putting, you know, and like, no, I don't, I, I don't want to talk about my situation, but she's doing it. So if you have something that you are seeking to do that you see might, there might be a need for it. Hey, you could take a poll. You could do all of these different things to find out who would be interested. But you know what? There is somebody. There is somebody that you that you will be able to touch, that you will be in, able to encourage and inspire through your own experience and through your tragedy, through your tra tragedy, through your challenge and all of those things. As we connect with one another, it just makes us stronger to know that we can, that you can, after you've gone through X, Y, Z and all of these things, you still can come out, you know, come out smiling, come out whole, come out repaired, restored and all of those things. And that's what I see in her and so many of the, um, so many of the guests that I've had on. So look, take a look at the previous interviews on this network, Emerge to Wellness. It was once Chat with Cat and Friends, a wellness network, but we're going to put that all under the umbrella of Emerge to Wellness because there are wellness vids that are on my channel. There are um, short, short videos, short segments and pop-ins with different folks to share their great information, some wonderful tips, wonderful and awesome tips about, about finance, about revenue, about trading. Look, I wanted to ask you guys a question. <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to ask you guys a question um, about trading. Has anybody used the Cash App? Cash App has a, um, has a trading a trading part in it. And I wanted to know if anybody has used it. I know I have, I have invested in some of the, um, and I'm not, I'm not a trade genius. I'm not any of those things. Investing. Yes. Investing. I'm not any of those things, but those are some areas that we need to expand and broaden our horizon and, um, and investments and trading and all of those different things. Um, 
I'm getting learned. I'm getting skilled on some of those things. So, um, very sort of Anthony, my husband, praise God for him. He he's well into into everything. He has to know. He's the he's the guy that'll sit up all night long figuring out and watching and he because he's going to know it he's got to know it for himself so he's going to know it he's going to learn it he's going to be able to do it he's going to be able to teach it that's just the kind of guy that he is i love him so so very much that's just the kind of guy he is um and sharing his wealth of knowledge is um is what he loves to do but if you haven't hey look into it especially if I don't know, especially if you've got money in your cash app, you know, you could buy a couple of investments. Check it out. Check it out. Um, I will say I have invested in some of a few of a few of the a few of the trades that are available, the investments that are available. I just recently sold out of some because they weren't they weren't doing anything i kind of monitor them um and not very closely I, i'm i'm the last person to ask about it like because i don't have very much knowledge in the area i'm just telling you sharing with you an area that you may want to look into you get more because i'm getting more savvy with it i am i'm getting more savvy with it um but i'm not all i'm not learned to to any great degree of teaching anybody no i i'm not the person i will however get someone on the show um i'll be looking for that i'll be looking for that expertise mr wilson i'll be looking for that expertise um to come on and share with us about trading about investing um and and all of those things but i did recently sell back and i had to i had to google it because it's not let me see. I'm pulling it up on my phone now so I can read it. It's not very, um, what is it? It's not very obvious how to sell. It's, it's obvious how to buy. And I think sometimes I, I was missing it because I was looking for something. I was looking for some other wording. But anyway, um, I had to Google, Google how do you sell, how do you sell stock back? From cash from cash app hey google it google it and it told me i was like okay so go back do that bam and i think i sold friday and got it back today it, and it gave me the information it told me um you'll receive you this will be deposited back into your cash app monday after 9 30 a.m yes so and it did it so i was like yeah okay that system it really works now I, i've used it from the investing side i sold and got and i did make i did make some money yay i did make a few dollars so i was i was kind of geeked about that yay so um yeah look into that you guys look into trading and investing and all of those great things um so that our money can work for us and we don't have to work so hard so hard if you're loving what you're doing by all means keep at it keep doing what you do um yeah, keep doing what you do. I'm going to save the rest for another time. I'll sit and chat with you guys later on this week concerning um, some other some other wellness tips. We got wellness tips coming up, um, and I'm just looking forward to that. This was the first um, chat with Cat and Friends show into the new year. I pray that you were empowered, inspired, and encouraged. Um, and that you got some great information, even if it isn't all relevant to you, maybe it's relevant for someone else that you know. You know, I hope that you can tuck that information away and use it as at will, at will. Um, and at least give them, my earbuds keep falling out, at least give out the, um, at least give out the Emerge to Wellness um youtube channel so that they can come and see for themselves the great and awesome information that is here on this channel only to make you better only to make you better only to give you give you information that will uplift that will encourage that will inspire that will take you to another level of happiness another level of wholeness and wellness in and of yourself so that's it for me thank you so much for hosting solemn professor i love you so much 
big look big shout out to to our guy george um g from the good life gospel show whose birthday is today his birthday is today there are a few birthdays on today um, I'm going to shout that one out and everybody's, that's the specific one that is right here in my head. Um, and him and his wife, they're actually in the hospital now. Um, and Z is in labor. She may, look, I'm, I'm waiting to hear. I'm like, what's going on? So um, I'm waiting to hear, but big shout out to them for the, um, the coming, soon coming birth of their daughter. Big shout out to G. Um, we love you so much. Happy, happy birthday. Congratulations. Um, on uh, on the soon coming birth, the soon coming birth of, of your daughter and happy birthday anniversary and a huge milestone, small milestone, short mile, however, that should look, keep on going. Everything counts. Everything matters. Every step that you take toward reaching your goal, it does count and it does matter. Keep at it. Keep doing the work. Keep sowing those seeds um, and you will get great reward. You have to work for it. You know, you got to do your part. That look, that that is true. And that's what God told me. You start, I finish. Don't worry about the hows and, you know, because I, I myself, I get stuck in what I see. And of course, God is so much bigger than what we see. He's so much bigger. His his wisdom is so much bigger than what we see and the the physical of, of what it is that we see and what we feel. He's so much bigger than all of that. So take courage. He has assured me, take courage. You start I'll finish, you know, and all of that stuff in between. Don't even worry about it, girl. I got it. That's he said. I got it. So I'm going to trust and believe in him in every bit of that. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. My earbuds keep falling out. I, I need some new ones because these are hopes. As a matter of fact, these are hopes. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Kay. Uh, for popping in and enjoying the show thank you so so very much um that's it for that's it for me i'm going to pop in touch that notification bell because i'll be popping in on emerge to wellness later on this week um if not tomorrow things have been you know our wellness is so important there are so many things going on so many dynamics going on in all of our lives whether you're working at the hospital, whether you're working at home, whether you are single, whether you're married, whether you have kids, whether you have a pet, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your gender, your your ethnicity, your culture. It's so many things going on and so <laughs> there's so many things going on in all of the world. Prayers out to the world, to the world over, over the world, over for just emotional balance, emotional balance and stability, some wholeness, some um, extra strength, all of that stuff that we all need. So just prayerful shout out over everyone on tonight, all of the emotional um, baggage that we're all carrying right now. And we all may not even be in acknowledgement or recognizing all of the things that we're shouldering. Um, but, and we're praying for that too. We're praying for that too, over all of that as well, um, as well as what we do know and what we have acknowledged and what we do feel on the inside and what we do see with our very own eyes. God, give us your vision. Give us your vision. Give us your strength, your might. So that's it for me. Subscribe to Emerge to Wellness. Come back and check out the channel. Share with a friend. Thank you so, so very much. I need subscribers, you guys. So subscribe, share with a friend. Tell them to subscribe. Share with your groups. Tell them to subscribe. Thank you so much in advance. Um, I'll look forward to checking in and chiming with you guys um, later. Comment on the videos. Let me know what you think. If there's information that you would like to see, that you would like to hear or discuss, let me know. If you have a business, an organization, you just started, you're thinking about about it let me know i'd love to chat with you i'd love to at least shout it out or what whatever the case may be this might not be your deal to come on and talk and all of those things i'm letting it go i'm letting that one go I'm, I'm just gonna let it go it might not be your deal to come on um facebook and 
YouTube and Instagram and all that might not be your thing, but let me know. Email me at Trina W at awesomegodradio.com so I can shout out your business. Um, I may not have your wares. You could send me some and I'll, I'll show them, but um, I will shout it out. I will shout out your business. You have an address, you have an email, whatever the case may be. Let me know so we can get that information out so we can support, support, support um, one another through um, exchange um, in person purchasing your merch or just support and letting someone else know who you are what you do you know that this may be helpful to you because i might not be able to grind with you financially right now you know it might not be my time to do that right now i might can just share by word of mouth and get 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 the word out um and i may be able to support you financially a little bit later and that's okay all of it is welcome all of it is appreciated i love you so very much i pray that you know the spirit of the lord is within you use your gifts y'all use your gifts i'm telling you god is good and he is greatly to be praised i'm gone so before this other year but fall out then i then i won't have any because I, I i'm done this is i'm not putting it back so have a great night everybody i'm going to eat <laughs> have fun have a great night bye and it's out.